here we are on Christmas Eve morning, if that makes sense. And the girlies got up early. We have Avalon and Chloe. Chloe isn't feeling too good this morning. She's got a sore throat. So that's not good. So what we're going to be doing today is, well, I got the fire going this morning. It's always cheery to have a fire going. And it's kind of cloudy out there today. Not much to see out there. But today, we're going to get ready for our Christmas Eve Christmas story uh, at in our chicken house. Love to see my girls working in the kitchen. <laughs> Avalon's learning from the best. I got Wyatt here, setting the table. Oh wow, look at what Priscilla's making. Amazing, what is that babe? German pancakes. That's phenomenal, that looks, oh, she hasn't made that in a long time. Yep. That looks good, wow. And we put like a buttermilk syrup on it, and it really tastes good. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. We just drizzle this buttermilk syrup over it all. And it'll taste amazing. I think we got a spill over here on the... Did we? It's leaking out. No, it's okay. We'll clean it. Ooh, that looks... Tasty. And, and then we have what, huckleberries that we picked? Yep, huckleberries that we can just dump on too and eat. Ooh, good. Okay, just a quick sneak peek here. Those are the good German pancakes, huckleberries, taters, and eggs. Everybody hungry? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're gonna clean this thing out. So the first thing we gotta do is lift up this roost right here. There we go. Now we're going to muck this thing out. It's going to be a different animal when we're done. What we do is we just throw it out the window and the chickens go through it and they scratch it up and it turns uh, back into compost and we put it back on the garden and put fresh bedding in here. I kind of, I'm allergic to uh, chicken dust for some reason. My eyes kind of swell up so that's why I wore the mask. Okay, now we got it cleaned, pretty much. Start bringing it in the bedding, the fresh bedding. Okay, now we're gonna spread the straw everywhere. Really nice and thick. I think that about does it. Nice and deep. All right, you think you wanna lower the chicken roost? There we are. Sweet. Now let's watch the chickens come in. They're going to be happy. Checking it out. There they come. Okay, it's a win win. The chickens are happy. We're happy. She's getting ready to lay an egg. And they're saying they love it. Scratching around. Trying to find something good to eat underneath there. Hey, what's going on there? Light the other side there. There we go. 
Yeah, it has a spiral in the gear. It had never said dog before. Yeah, totally normal. Oh. Is Alice a new frog, Dad? Yep, yeah, so that's normal. Hmm, that's a mess. So normal. Let's hang on down here for a bit next to the bathroom. Alright, better cut this in here, guys. We want to share with you our Christmas story, the good news of the gospel. And, and uh, tonight is Christmas Eve, and so we make this a tradition. If you can hear us above the chickens, <laughs> we're going to read the Christmas story to you. going to read first of all in Luke chapter 2. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Cyrenus was governor of Syria and all went to be registered each to his own town and Joseph also went up from Galilee from the town of Nazareth to, to Judea to the city of David which is called Bethlehem because he was of the host because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be the sign unto you. You will find a babe wrapped in swelling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the angels said to one, shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And then I'm going to read you the account of the wise men. A lot of times we get the picture that the wise men were there the same night Jesus was born. But I think it was a very different time, or a little bit later at least. Because this, this one comes, uh, this story is in Matthew 2, the visit of the wise men. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, and you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the Jew rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. And listening to the king, they went on their way. 
And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. So maybe we'll sing a little a song for tonight yet. Christmas song. Christmas song. Yeah. Silent night, holy night. talk about a weird twist so we were just finishing up and Priscilla was brushing off Chloe brushing the straw off of her and her ring fell off and we looked and searched in that chicken pen and we can't find her ring so I called a friend and I'm borrowing his metal detector which is right here and we're gonna go up and see if we can find that ring so <laughs> Christmas Eve lost her ring Priscilla's ring but uh, I am hoping we can find it. So Priscilla's kind of had a story with rings. Uh, this was a special ring I gave her. If you watch uh, our anniversary celebration video, you'll see this the ring that I gave her. So kind of a special ring. Don't want the chickens to eat it. So we're going to see if we can find it tonight yet. Okay, let's see if we can find this thing.
Okay, we have we have witnessed a miracle. Look right here. I happen to look down, and right there is a ring. Bring it close, Avalon. Look. See the ring lying right there? I happen to see that ring right there. Absolute miracle. There's the ring. Wow. Crazy. This ring here has got all the all our birthstones in it. It's kind of, it's a lot, I have to explain all of it, but it's pretty cool. Huh. It's amazing with white gold. And we found it. This metal detector was not picking it up. I literally saw it with my eyes. Thank you, Lord. That's an answer to prayer right there. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What I was doing, I was literally going like this and doing that. And I did not see it fall, but I must have picked it up because when I came back to do it again, I saw something that's... I thought it was a little sparkly right there, and sure enough, there it was. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Woohoo! Mom is going to be so happy right now. Okay, thank you, Lord. I don't know why this thing didn't pick it up. Probably don't know how to operate it. All right, let's go. So much for Christmas Eve. Christmas miracle. No way. It's literally, I did not uh, find it with metal detector. I literally was sorting it. I was I was picking it up and going like that. And then all of a sudden, I, then I went, I was just kind of searching around there, kind of hopeless. And all of a sudden I looked over and I thought I saw something shine, but I think it was just straw. It literally looks like that. And I looked and there it was laying. Like where was, was it? Was it, it was, I, I had picked up. And I did see it drop. Really? Well, I don't know. I don't, yeah, it must have been around or somewhere. Wow. Totally a miracle. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, babe. <laughs>